Welcome everybody, thank you for tuning in today. We've got a tech check video once again, and this time we're gonna be taking a look at Liat's redesigned shoe line for 2023. Just two years ago, Liat launched their first mountain bike shoe line and have taken a lot of the feedback and constructive criticism from athletes and riders as well as media reviews. And I think you guys are gonna be excited to see what they've done. And guess what? They've got a flat pedal shoe offering with a BOA style lace enclosure system. Stay tuned and we'll get into the shoes. Every mountain biker knows a good set of shoes is important when you're out on the trail riding. They offer control, safety, protection, and are one of only four points that are touching the bike when you're aggressively descending and attacking the trail. So today we've got a fun tech check where we're gonna be looking at Liat's new mountain bike shoe line and what they've done to improve their offering for 2023. So we're here uh, with Samuel, uh, the product designer for shoes at Liat, and uh, we figured to take the opportunity to sit down with him and uh, kind of get the, the information from the horse's mouth on Liat's new Ride Grip Pro uh, Cal shoes. Yep. yep. Um, perfect. So. Tell us, uh, what are the biggest differences that people are going to, uh, yeah, to find with your new shoes compared to the existing ones? Maybe if they've tried layout shoes in the past yep. and uh, not necessarily got along with them, uh, what, of what's going to be different this of course. time around? Well, first off, like if they try the 2.0, the first impression will be the overall weight that went, went down like dramatically. So that's one of the first thing. But also we've been working a lot on the rubber compound itself and the EVA midsole as well. So. Rubber lives over here at the bottom and EVA lives here and that's what we call the midsole. So this guy here provides the grip and this one like the rebound control. So we, what we actually did is like we overall the rubber completely and uh, it's 20% softer than it used to be. And also we combined the regular rubber with another elastomer that is typically used for adhesive in the industrial applications. So rubber has great abrasion resistant this one is the other one is really tacky so combining together both made a, a compound that is tacky but still resistant over time primarily we'll be focusing on the flat pedal shoes today since that's where a lot of the energy and technological developments were focused um, and that was uh, quite frankly an area where i think more of the the help was needed to improve the shoes however we will also showcase some of their clipless pedals uh, because that's a lot of what we've been riding here in the last few months so improving a shoe isn't just as simple as making a stickier sole. Um, obviously, you know, grip and pedal feel is important and having a soft sticky compound definitely will help. However, there is a lot more to it than just that. So what we're gonna do is take a look at this shoe here, which is the new 3.0 and talk about some of the technologies that work in unison to offer a much better flat pedal shoe. First up, we've got the Ride Grip Pro uh, rubber compound, what Liat actually did as they were starting to, to think backwards about how to improve the stickiness and the, the traction on the pedals was thinking about stick adhesives. And then that led them into this path of industrial strength adhesives that they're now blending with their rubber compound to get a 20% tackier uh, sole compound that is gonna definitely help ensure your feet stay on the pedals better. Also what's new is the Waffle Grip Pro tread pattern. Um, on their older shoes, they had a bit more of a, a reverse sunk triangle pyramid, similar to like a Vans style shoe. Um, actually can still be found here on the 1.0 shoe. Um, so what they did was actually inverted that pattern so it is now sticking out of the bottom of the shoe. So you've got a better spot for your pedal pins to sit also a 20% softer rubber compound. So those two things right there are gonna allow pedal pins to dig in and stay put much better in and of themselves. Uh, then when you combine the fact that they ditched the nylon shank to improve pedal feel, uh, shoe conformity, as well as comfort, uh, you've got three really good things working for you to, to give a better shoe. Now what they did again was get rid of that nylon shank and are now using an EVA midsole. And that EVA uh, is, is a kind of a unique blend. And what it does is it offers a little bit of a damping property. Um, it, it has some cushion, a little bit of rebound. And by getting rid of that shank, as your, your 
foot uh, lands on the pedals from a big drop or a compression, or if you're plowing through rocks, the shoe can form a little bit uh, or deform underneath a little bit. So it's not just a rigid block of wood that's like trying to hold on purely because of the compound and the tread pattern, but it will actually allow the foot and shoe to deform, which will help increase grip even more. So between all those elements, you're gonna have a, a shoe that does a lot better job of staying on that pedal. Another big thing that Liat wanted to focus on was reducing the weight of the shoes uh, uh, as a whole. So specifically in the 2.0, you'll notice some major weight reductions. Uh, Liat has taken care to still offer some protection. So it is reinforced in the heel around the toe cap. Uh, you've got usually a higher cuff depending on the model of shoe with a neoprene um, cuff to help prevent stuff going down inside, filling up your shoe with dirt and debris. Um, also, a lot of the shoes will feature a 10K water resistant treatment, uh, depending again on the, the model of shoe and where you're at. Something that I think is a big takeaway is that Liat's got a shoe that will fit your application no matter what. Um, and we'll kind of get into those as we start talking about each model individually. So one of the things that we have seen a lot of commenters criticizing other brands for and asking for is a BOA style flat pedal shoe. Liat has that available here in the 4.0. Uh, there is both a clipless and a flat pedal version, but their Moz style uh, cable lace retention system is complemented by a Velcro strap across the top of the tongue. So you can really make sure you get a nice secure fit. Um, again, the, the goal with a lot of the Liat product renovations uh, or updates for this year was to improve breathability, durability, a lot of water, weather resistant and water resistant treatments, reduction of weight, as well as increased traction. Um, and, and really trying to make a product for everybody, no matter the discipline. So we'll kind of briefly skim over the line from 1.0 to 7.0. Um, this here is the 1.0. I am kind of calling this the Vans replacement. Um, this is not really an aggressive, hardcore riding shoe. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a pretty soft, casual shoe, a synthetic suede upper. It does have the ride grip and waffle grip uh, sole and pattern compounds, um, not the new pro versions. But again, this is kind of more that casual shoe, maybe the pump track, dirt jump kind of guy who wants a a little bit of a softer, more pliable shoe. Super comfy and a great casual wear uh, piece. So next up, you'll move into that 2.0, which is gonna feature a lot of the new updates. And from there, you'll slide up to the 3.0, which again is gonna be this shoe that we kind of highlighted and talked about. Um, they've got a lace version as well as a Moz uh, speed lace boa style version as well. So depending on if you're more of a traditional lace person or a fast acting cable lace, you'll have options for you. So next up, we'll move to the 4.0, uh, which is this version here. It has a traditional lace with their cross strap for a little bit of added support. You can dial that in, make sure you get a nice snug feel uh, for that pedaling efficiency. It does have a bit of a raised three quarter height internal ankle protection, which is a really nice feature for crank arm frame protection as well. So the clipless shoes still feature Liat's Ride Grip rubber compound, not the Ride Grip Pro. Uh, the thought behind that is, is you're not as reliant on the soft sticky rubber compound to keep your feet in place because you are clipped in and it will also increase the durability and the the lifespan of the shoe clipping in and out you know on those kind of rough pedals with pins uh, something that's really neat and we like a lot about liet's clipless shoes is they've got a 25 millimeter extended track and i normally find myself having to slam cleats all the way into the bottom of the shoe just to get enough space um, or support, I should say, to not stretch my ankle, which is pretty bad and weak. And with Liat shoes, I actually find that I'm, I'm running them a few millimeters up from bottomed out because that goes down so far. So if you've got bad ankles or you're someone that likes to run those cleats all the way down, uh, you'll be happy to know that you'll have plenty of room in these shoes. Also a pretty wide clearance area here and a nice channel out 
um, to help clear and deflect mud, get stuff out of there, and a water resistant uh, treatment as well, and some quick drying material, reinforced heel, toe, and that, that inner protection on the ankle make this a pretty burly and durable enduro to DH level shoe. So as we showed you guys earlier, this is the 4.0 Pro. Several of the shoes in the Liat line have a standard and Pro model. And essentially what the Pro model means is that it has this Moz uh, cable retention lace system. So whether you're looking at flat or clipless pedals, if, if there's a Pro model, that will mean it's got that Moz BOA style uh, cable lace system. Moving up, you go to the 5.0 shoe. Uh, which is uh, got a speed lace that is hidden away with this crosshatch strap. Uh, again, similar to that 4.0, uh, it's designed to just add a little bit more security and retention to that shoe across the whole top so that your pedaling efficiency and power transfer is there when you need it. Same thing here with the big long extended track, you've got a lot of adjustability to run that cleat position and uh, help shed mud if you are someone who's regularly riding in, in sloppy conditions. So moving into the 6.0, which uh, unfortunately we don't have at this time, that's gonna be kind of their lighter weight trail shoe. It's gonna have a single Moz BOA style uh, cable lace system. Um, if, if big pedals, long trail days are in the menu for you, that could be a shoe to check out. Uh, the 6.0 is a solid, well-breathing, lightweight shoe. And then the 7.0, which Robert recently reviewed and is still with him over in Scotland battling the mud, is their high top, I guess you would call it. It has a cuff that comes over the top of the shoe and is zipped up with a single pop. Um, Robert recently reviewed that shoe. If you wanna check that out, if you're regularly riding in the wet and muck, we'll link it down below. Um, but it is a shoe that features a lot of great weather element protection. Uh, it has the speed lace that is fully encapsulated and covered by that outer booty that you zip up and then uh, pop closed. Uh, Ride Grip Pro rubber compound on the bottom to ensure that it sticks nice in the mud and wet and is again a solid offering that Robert really loves and called a game changer for his winter riding. So in a nutshell that is the new 2023 shoe line from Liet. A lot of time and energy was spent working to improve the ride feel, grip, and traction of their flat pedal shoes as well as making them lighter little bit more durable as well as offering some weather protection and some quick drying features. Uh, the, the shoes as a whole, what we've spent time in so far have been quite impressive and we've been very happy. Uh, again, it has been quite limited before creating this tech check, but rest assured these shoes as well as the 7.0s that Robert has already reviewed will be on the menu for future long-term reviews, so stay tuned. In the meantime, if you have any questions, uh, thoughts or suggestions that you would like to see Liat improve on future shoes or us to focus on for the review, leave those down below. We'd be happy to answer them or keep them in mind as we're working on those long-term reviews, uh, whether it's a comparison to another shoe or how much better we think it is over the predecessors. Thank you guys very much for watching. We appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in future videos.